This plant is Hibiscus Syriacus Helene, Rose of Sharon, and the whole Hibiscus Syriacus family is Rose of Sharon, and there are a lot of different varieties. Um, this one is a uh, very striking white with a red throat, uh, much like one called Red Heart as well, but seems to be more of a profuse bloomer and the red splotch in the middle seems to be larger. So uh, Hibiscus Syriacus family are deciduous shrubs, so not like the Hibiscus sinensis or tropical hibiscus that we uh, most people know. You see this how the red bleeds out towards the outer edge. It's a really beautiful effect. And uh, look how many buds are on this as, long, as well as all the flowers. So this uh, video was taken in Vancouver, British Columbia in Canada in late August or mid-August. And um, these plants bloom for months. This is one of the reasons I love this. This is a large shrub uh, but uh, quite a show during the heat of summer and actually these prefer some good heat to do their best blooming. So as you see here they're just covered and also so many buds left on the plant. So uh, my experience is, is that they will bloom from anywhere from June all the way until um, October in our area. So it can't in you know, the winter, I'm sorry, the spring into the summer has a bearing on how early they start their bloom, but really they kick in well around July and then go anywhere from October. And I've seen these blooming at Halloween um, as well. So can be a very, very long bloomer in the heat of summer. And there aren't a whole lot of plants out there that bloom that long, much less in the heat of the year. So that's why I usually find a place for this in a lot of my designs because it has such a show when, during the time of year when we like to be outside and enjoying our, our landscapes. So one of the things to know about this is that it, uh, the various varieties of Hibiscus syriacus can go to seed. They're kind of free. All these uh, buds turn in, or flowers turn into seed heads, and they tend to drop those. This variety, though, is not prone to that and does very little self-sowing. So that's one of the other benefits of this particular variety. And then you know, finding a color that's right for the rest of your planting scheme is obviously part of what you want to think about. There are varieties that are pink, there are varieties that are lavender, there's one called bluebird that uh, is kind of a lavendery blue color with a reddish throat. So there's some nice other colors out there, but uh, I tell you, I've only seen one or two others that bloom half as much as this one, and it's just so striking because of the bright bright white color along with the red throat. So in design what I use this as is more of a specimen shrub at the back of the border or in a corner where it can get its full size which tends to be 8 to 10 feet high by uh, 5 to 7 feet wide. They're more upright than they are um, wide as you saw in an earlier photo and so that's the spacing I would give these. I, I, uh, and then I've got some companion plants I'm going to show you here in a moment that I think are good, uh, good companions along with this and bloom at, the, at a complementary time. So that's Hibiscus uh, syriacus. Oh, let me tell you a few things about it. It is not deer tolerant in my experience. It is drought tolerant once established. Does better with some regular garden water, but will tolerate some drought once it's uh, got its feet down and it's well established. Has kind of a moderate growth rate. Um, I find that when I buy these in five gallon containers, they're about two to three feet tall. And within five years, I could have an eight foot high by four or five foot wide plant. During the winter, they recommend that you do a little pruning back to leave a couple of buds on a branch. I just looked at mine and they definitely bloom on new growth. So by raining them in during the winter, that's your maintenance, but that's going to give you more blooming wood that's going to push back more vigorously and produce all these flowers you see. So um, as they start to fill out and get the size you want, feel uh, free to kind of rain them in during the winter, get that uh, new wood 
growing and that's going to produce all these new flowers that you see here. These are hardy down to about minus 10 degrees Fahrenheit by the way plus or minus so they're usable in a, a wide variety of areas and um, they're also very drought uh, heat tolerant as I mentioned earlier. So that's what I can tell you about uh, Hibiscus syriacus helene. Excellent deciduous shrub highly recommend finding a place for that in your garden design and uh, here are a few nice companion plants to pair with it enjoy